Um, verse 8, keep me as the apple of the eye. And, you know, the apple of the eye is used a few times in the scripture. It's basically just something that's, that's, that's well liked and beholden by your eyes, right? Like the apple just kind of symbolizing something that's, that's uh, appealing to look at. It looks great. It's something to be desired, right? And this is just putting forth, hey, keep me. Like when you look at me, you look at me with that same type of interest and desire and, and wanting to, to, you know, to, to be close with or whatever. Um, keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who compass me about. Uh, they are enclosed in their own fat. Uh, this is, means that they're, you know, they're, they're rich, they're fat, they're, they're lifted up, they're given over to their desires. Um, with their mouth they speak proudly. Verse 11, they have now compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes, bowing down to the earth. And this, this is going to continue to go on about these wicked people that are trying to destroy the righteous. Verse number 12, like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Again, these, this symbolism of lions, just like the Bible teaches us that, uh, that Satan as a roaring lion goeth about seeking whom he may devour. Um, you know, this is how a wicked person, you know, a predator goes about seeking their prey. And there are a lot of wicked people as predators trying to destroy the upright in heart, trying to destroy good people. Uh, you know, another, one way of even doing that is you think about the, the strange woman in the book of Proverbs, you know, the, the adulteress that hunts for the precious life. There are wicked women out there that are, that are literally trying to hunt for the precious life. You may not believe it, man. You know, man, it may not be something that you say, oh, no, that couldn't be. Watch out. Watch out for the flattery. Watch out for the traps. Watch out for women that are going to uh, hunt for the precious life. They're out there just as there are other people out there. And, and one of the important things I think to take away from this is the people who are out trying to destroy and really trying to take down Christians very oftentimes are going to be subtle about it. Especially those that are the most successful are going to be subtle about it. They're going to try to gain your confidence. Now, it doesn't mean we go around to suspecting everybody of being, you know, a bad person, but we need to be aware of it. So that way, when the warning signs start, sh you know, showing themselves, you can be aware and not just be completely taken off guard. And you can set up your own uh, wise rules for yourself with your children, you know, to put yourself in a good position. Um, I covered this on Sunday, you know, I was talking about fornication, right? And again, another reason is because there is that woman that, that's going to try to hunt for the precious life. And what more precious than the, the man who's trying to live a godly Christian life, who's married, you know, and some woman comes along, some, you know, ch child of the devil might come along trying to seduce the Christian and try to bring him down and make him corrupt, um, just because, because they're a wicked person, they have a wicked heart. Uh, that is out there, so just be aware of that. 